which means I can write the tool or the script, save the file and run it right away. It is very fast and iterative process which I found it saved me a lot of time. Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Mohammed here and I'll be your host for this upcoming set of videos talking about using Python for Unreal Editor scripting. A quick background about myself, I'm an Egyptian living in China, uh, I have some experience in the game industry and if I'm not making games I'm for sure busy playing ones. Uh, I do use Unreal since UE2 and I usually running UE4 around 20 hours per day. A couple of years ago or something, uh, I can't really recall the exact time, uh, Epic Games started pushing Python interface into Unreal Editor. And once I did notice this at GitHub repository, it caught my attention. So I started digging into Unreal Python scripting more and more. And by the time I saw a huge potential in that new experimental plugin and I didn't take long time to put this into my personal projects and I started counting on that Python API on my own pipeline. And as always, for anything new there isn't much resources, so I mostly learned the entire thing by myself and I wanted to share that knowledge. I started putting a full guide of what I have learned, which we will be discussing during this series, and in order to start hiring some Python Unreal users to adopt this Python workflow, I made a public repository free for everyone on GitHub, uh, with some samples for productivity tools for Unreal editors that is only made in Python. Uh, just a side note, there are a couple of live streams from Epic by now uh, that are discussing Python for Unreal Editor, uh, but those came really late for me, uh, they came after my learning journey was almost complete. So why Python with Unreal? The answer is very simple. Python is a lightweight language that doesn't require compile time more or less, uh, which is, for me at least, a big deal when I work with Unreal. If I'm not spending the time packaging the project I'm working on, I'm mostly spending the time compiling my project code or compiling my entire engine or editor. Uh, but here is the trick. Most of the times I need to make tools to help in some specific things and I do either make those in a form of changes in my own editor fork itself and rebuild the editor which is very time consuming considering I'm running on a single PC there is no building over a network or something so it is it is a time consuming process or sometimes I do make a plugin that I can share between my different projects and and even I can use this plugin with a launcher version of Unreal which also requires building time like as long as it is C++ it requires building time. With that said, I found that many things that I need most of the time in terms of tooling can be achieved with this new Python API, which means I can write the tool or the script, save the file and run it right away. It is very fast and iterative process which I found it saved me a lot of time. Still. Python tools might not be very helpful if you want, let's say, create your own new asset type or implement a new rendering feature for Unreal. But at most of the time, for project organization, asset validation, or even level design or asset cleanup, you can make a lot of magical tools with the Python API and very, very fast. Uh, disclaimer here, this course won't teach you Python language itself or even its syntax. It should not be hard or complicated though and any programmer with let's say one year experience or even less can pick up uh, the syntax of Python right away. Um, as a matter of fact in my case for example first time to use Python I was working at a company called Spicy Horse the creators of Graham and Alice Madness and I got this task to make a Python tool for Amazon EC cloud thing. It was, it was new at that time uh, and uh, for me like it like Python was a new language for me uh, it, it was a new language for the game industry it was not that popular 
like now. Uh, I think this was around 2012 or something. And I did learn the syntax and the, and the API for Amazon EC Cloud like within a half working day which is like four or five hours so yeah you you won't be suffering in picking up the syntax for python if you have zero experience with python in the past uh, it is a cute little big language after all enough for that introduction and let's jump to the fun stuff in the next video we'll be discussing the how to prepare our work environment for unreal engine pythoning so catch you later bye